Mr. Bragstar, you don't wish to wait for Mr. Hampton? No, we'll be okay. I All spoke right. with Mr. Hampton. He's fine with me taking this. Okay. Taking care of this. State of Wisconsin versus Daryl Brooks, case number 21 CF 4596 and 21 CF 5020. Appearances, please. Matthew Torbinson and Shelly Grasso appear for the state. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Good afternoon. Daryl Brooks appears by Attorney William Rakestraw, who appears as co counsel with Attorney Robert Hampton, who is not here at this time, Your Honor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi, Mr. Brooks. Good afternoon, Your Honor. All right, so we are here for a status the last time. Um, the case was in court. Uh, it was handled by Judge Feist for us. We were in the middle of a trial um, and there were some movement issues. So Judge Feist handled it for us. At that time, it was set for a final pretrial. He adjourned the jury trial uh, that was scheduled for December 12th and set it at the request of the parties for a status on today's date. Uh, Mr. Rakestraw, what can you tell me about that status and where we stand today? Yes, Your Honor. Um, having spoke with Mr. Brooks, um, we have reached out to uh, Attorney Torbison asked for a separate offer on this matter. It's my understanding that Attorney Torbison is going to get that to me uh, forthwith. Um, Your Honor, me and Mr. Uh, Brooks have also discussed the possibility that Mr. Brooks um, will possibly be asking to proceed pro se if this case goes to trial, but we can table that for the time being um, as we are still seeking a possible resolution. Um, Your Honor, I would um, ask for one more, I would ask for another status date so that we can work forward hopefully and obtain a resolution on this matter. Okay, State. Attorney Rakeshaw and I discussed the parameters of an amended offer out in the hallway. I've emailed him an amended offer that involves just the two cases before your honor. I agree with uh, the record made by Attorney Rakeshaw in terms of how we proceed on this matter. All right, just so we're clear, what I'm taking you to say is that you are looking for an offer that handles the two cases that are scheduled before me, separate from the case that is scheduled before Judge Feist, correct? That is correct, your honor. So not separate offers on everything? No. Okay. Um, all right. So it sounds like the parties are still negotiating. Uh, do you wish to do another status? Yes, please. All right. Uh, we did have an opportunity to speak before. Okay, this should be fine. Um, we had an opportunity to speak before we called the case on the record when you first came over, uh, Mr. Rakestraw, with Mr. Torbinson and Ms. Grasso, and you indicated that the case in Judge Feist was scheduled for a status on... Uh, March 23rd. That's correct. It's my understanding that Mr. Brooks has a requested to appear in person for each hearing. So you want him produced for that? Yes, please. All right. We can put it on for that same date. Uh, we have trials scheduled on March 22nd, but we'll figure it out um, to be able to make this happen. Sure. What time on the 23rd? Uh, that was set for 1.30. Do you want the same time or do you want 2 o'clock? Uh, or... Probably just, I mean, we should probably just do two o'clock, just make it easier. Make it easier. And as far as that issue, the request to uh, proceed pro se, I think that probably um, it sounds as if you are negotiating actively on his behalf and he's not requesting this at this point, but only if it goes to trial. So we will, uh, I will withhold any argument or uh, any further action on that decision at this time. Understood, Your Honor. The next court date is March 23rd at two o'clock for status. Thank you. Take care. 